Well, this is just insane. We now have Google Opal in Gemini AI and apparently they're trying to change the name to sort of AI apps or a new kind of gem. So I think they're still not quite clear about the new name of this tool in Gemini. But regardless, this is an amazing tool that you can use to create a custom workflow similar to NAN or Make.com or perhaps Zapier. But of course, it is using some of the best models from Google, like you can use it to generate a blog post, a picture, product description. You can also use it for creating an ad copy, video, music, etc. So this is amazing and it was called Google Opal, but now apparently we have this feature directly in Gemini AI. More or less, it still looks the same, but I would say it is actually becoming a lot easier to use because now we can start creating a custom workflow using Gemini interface so let me show you how you can create a new gem or let's say a custom workflow directly in gemini ai so let's navigate to gemini.google.com now apparently this this tool is still in the experimental phase and i check my phone and it is not yet available in the mobile app version of gemini so i guess right now you might want to use the desktop web version of gemini now after that you can open the sidebar menu and then go to gems and you'll see this new message, this new section. So these are some examples that were created by Google. You can open it, you can rem remix or create your own version based on that, but you can also create a new one. So I'm going to click this button. And there you go. Now you can just describe the workflow that you want to have. So for me, for example, I want to create a workflow where I can enter any name and AI will create an icon based on the meaning behind the name. So I'm going to be using this uh, prompt basically to create the, work the workflow. I want you to generate a workflow where the user can enter any name and AI will analyze the name, check the etymology of the name. And after that, it will generate a picture of an icon based on the name. There you go. Let me double check the spelling and everything else. Okay. Just send a message and just wait for Google Opal, sorry, the, the new kind of gem to start building the custom workflow. So you will see that it, it's going to look very much similar to Google Opal. If you are familiar with Google Opal, you will see that there are some similarities, but I think they have adapted the features and interface to Gemini, although there are still, still some elements or some features that still can only be accessed via Google Opal, which I'll talk about later. Now, just wait for a tool to create the app and later you can actually start utilizing it to build or to create anything so apparently it has been created now uh, this is basically the preview now you if you want to change anything you can tell ai so right here in gemini apparently you cannot do anything you cannot change the prompt you cannot change the setting and if you want to modify any setting you have to open it via the advanced editor or google opal so if i click that button it will open the google opal basically and you can uh, click on each node and you can select the setting that you prefer so these are some settings that you can play around yep something like that i'm not going to explain in detail but uh, you can check it yourself <clears throat> sorry about that okay i'm going to go back to gemini so let me just start using the app let's say the name of the person would be leo let's try something easy okay now it is thinking it is using maybe okay this step so it was using this particular step and then it will move on to this step, this step, and then lastly this step and it will now render the image and also perhaps providing some, okay, HTML web page, which means there's going to be a sort of interface that I can uh, see. Okay, now it is generating the image. I think it was using the Gemini 2.5 plus image, which is, okay, not a banana, but not the pro version. That's fine. I think still okay and okay now it's rendering the page and you'll see the result anytime now so yeah it's really amazing that we can essentially build an app directly in gemini and we can reuse this multiple times by the way you can also go back to the gems menu and then you can open this the the workflow that you just created maybe you can use it for your business you can use it to create uh, anything that may that may help you in your daily life okay still thinking uh, it should be showing the answer anytime now. Okay, it took a bit longer somehow. And yep, Leo Lion. It's blurry somehow, but 
not blurry, I believe. It's not supposed to be blurry. Okay, it's not blurry at all, so I don't know why it is blurry here. So I guess it's because it is an HTML page, so maybe there could be a problem. But anyway, let's continue. So this is a web page displaying the meaning behind the name and also, of course, the picture or the icon that I want AI to generate. So this is really cool. I think you can use this to, to save some time, make you more productive and do a lot of cool things that otherwise would be difficult or impossible without this amazing tool. So yeah, uh, go ahead, navigate to gems and then start building your own custom gem or custom workflow that might help you in your daily life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.